Welcome back to Math Dogs. If you're new to the channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Today's topic is consecutive integers, and we have three examples worked out for you step by step. Remember, we believe math is better with your dog, so call your pups. Let's get started. Problem number 10 is consecutive integers. It says the sum of three consecutive integers is 63. Find the numbers. So consecutive means one right after the other. And if they're consecutive integers, that means they're all one apart. So my first number that I'm going to define a variable for is x, just like we've been doing. Now I need to write an expression for the second number and the third number. So the second number will be one away from that, which means I'm going to add one. So that will be x plus one. The third number will be one away from the second number, or x plus one plus another one, and one plus one is two. So that would be x plus two. Now I'm going to write my equation. I want to find the sum of these. So the first integer is x plus, the second integer is x plus one, plus the third integer is x plus two, Here's my word is for my equal sign, and that has to total to 63. Now I'm going to solve my equation. I'll simplify the left side. x plus x plus x is 3x plus 3 equals 63. And this just becomes a two-step. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 plus 3x is 3x. And 63 minus 3 is 60. Now I'll divide by 3 to make my coefficient equal to 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1x, and 60 divided by 3 is 20. So I know my first integer is 20. My second integer will be 20 plus 1, which is 21. And my third integer will be 20 plus 2, which is 22. So my first number is 20, my second integer is 21, and my third integer is 22. Now there's other ways to solve this particular type of problem, but it helps to be able to define all three of your variables, because as you'll see in the next two problems, sometimes the equation becomes more complicated. So I know my answers are 20, 21, and 22. Problem number 11 is consecutive even integers. It says two numbers are consecutive even integers. Six more than five times the smaller integer equals four less than three times the larger integer find the integers. Well, all even numbers are two spaces apart on the number line. And so I have my two numbers that I'm going to need to define variables for. The first number or first integer is going to be x, just like we did in the last few problems. The second number, this time since they're even integers and they're all two spaces apart, will be x plus 2. And now I have to write the equation. So in number 10, some people use tricks to find the answer to that problem, and they work for that particular type of problem. But if you don't have variables defined, you're not going to be able to write equations for these more difficult problems. So it says six more than five times the smaller integer equals four less than three times the larger integer. As long as I have my integers defined, I can go through my translation process and write my equation. So here's the word equals. That's my equal sign. The left side expression is six more than five times the smaller integer. So here's more than, which means addition, and I want five times the smaller integer. So that would be five x plus six. The right side expression says four less than three times the larger integer. So here's the word than. Even though four is written in words first, it will come second in the expression, and I want three times the larger. So that's going to be three times, and the larger one is represented as x plus two. So my equation would say five x plus six equals three times x plus two minus four. And now I can solve. The left side expression is simplified. The right side expression has a distributive property. Three times x is three x. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4. I have one more step to simplify the left side expression. 6 minus 4 is 2, so that would be 3x plus 2. 
Now I'm going to gather my variables on one side and my numbers on the other. I'll subtract 3x from both sides to keep my variable positive. 5x minus 3x is 2x plus 6 equals 3x minus 3x is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. Now I'm down to a two-step. Subtract 6 from both sides and divide by 2. 6 minus 6 is 0. 0 plus 2x is 2x. And 2 minus 6 is negative 4. Divide both sides by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1x, and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So I know my first integer is negative 2. My second integer will be negative 2 for x plus 2, and that will be 0. So my first integer is negative 2, and my second integer is 0. Problem number 12 is consecutive odd integers. It says two consecutive odd integers are related. 3 less than twice the smaller is equal to 3 fifths the larger. Find the two integers. So just like consecutive even integers, consecutive odd integers are also two spaces apart on the number line. And so when I define the variables or the expressions, it's exactly the same expressions as it was for even integers. The first integer is x, and the next odd integer will be 2 away, or x plus 2. So notice the 2 is an even number, and I'm dealing with odd integers, but the 2 represents the space on the number line, not the integer I'm looking for. Consecutive odd integers and consecutive even integers are both two apart, and they're always defined the same way. Now I'm going to use translation to write my equation. It says 3 less than twice the smaller is equal to 3 fifths the larger. So here's my is equal to part. That's my equal sign. 3 less than, here's the word than, so I'm going to reverse the 3. It's written first in words, but second in symbols. Twice the smaller will be 2x. So the left side expression will be 2x minus 3. The right side expression is just 3 fifths the larger, which means 3 fifths times the larger of the 2 is x plus 2. And so my equation says 2x minus 3 equals 3 fifths times x plus 2. So now I'll solve the equation. Since I have a fraction, the first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by the least common denominator, which in this case is 5. So 5 times 2x is 10x. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. 5 divides into 5 once. 1 times 3 is 3 times x plus 2. Now I'll simplify the right side expression using the distributive property. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now I'm going to gather my variables on one side and my numbers on the other. I'll subtract 3x from both sides in order to keep my variable term positive. 10x minus 3x is 7x minus 15 equals 3x minus 3x is 0. 0 plus 6 is 6. And now I'm back to a two-step. Add 15 to both sides and divide by 7. Negative 15 plus 15 is 0. 0 plus 7x is 7x. And 6 plus 15 is 21. Divide both sides by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1x. And 21 divided by 7 is 3. So my first integer, x, is equal to 3. My second consecutive odd integer will be 3 plus 2, which would be 5. So my first consecutive odd integer is 3, and my next consecutive odd integer is 5. So that's it. Three examples of consecutive integer problems. Keep working hard. Don't ever give up. We know you can do this. And as we say in math dogs, you got this. Woo! <laughs>